Hi, I'm Shalair with Mediander's Comedy Spotlight, where I will highlight the funniest people who should have TV shows, in my opinion. And you ask, who are you? Well, I'll tell you. I am And that's why I should highlight the funniest people who should have shows. Hello everyone, I'm Shalair, this is Comedy Spotlight, and this is Harris Stanton. <laughs> oh my god, so good to see you, but I mean, I can't really see him. I, obviously, it's, he's too cool for school here, like what's up, or am I that hot? No, well, both. I'm too cool <laughs> for school and she's that hot, but this is my first interview, I'm 38 years old, it's my first interview with shades on. I always want to do that since I was in high school, because I would see, you know, all the Eat You Hollywood story people do it. They're talking about their dead family members who did coke and they died and they been yeah he was yeah, chris farley yeah he did a lot of coke so what you're trying to tell me is that you've had some coke earlier no no <laughs> my dead friend later oh. that's why i'm gonna do shades well anyway i'll take him he was a great guy i'll take him with or without glass i mean i can't tell you uh, how happy i am i can take you. them off okay see my beautiful eyes. You know, I am seriously happy to see you. I was really sad for you a couple months ago, as a lot of people know. I know you probably hate being known as the guy that was in the car crash with That's Tracy crazy. Yeah, I do hate that, because I'm funny, too. <laughs> he is funny. And a lot of people found that out during that time. Absolutely. I got a lot of YouTube hits. <laughs> and, not, and, and I got three more Twitter followers. That was cool. <laughs> It don't work like the movies. You know how in the movies when someone has post-traumatic stress, it's a whole scene. It's just like more like a flash, and you go, "Oh shit, that was fucked up." And oh, then you no. just go back to eating whatever you was eating. Oh no, I'm like, and I'm <laughs> over here laughing like. No, it's just fine. It's fine. You know, it's something I have to live with, but it's it's all good. But I mean, you should be used to that. You date black girls. Mm, yeah, <laughs> they give you a lot of post-traumatic stress. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people don't know about you. Before comedy, you were actually um, a draft pick for. Major League Baseball. Yeah, right? I got drafted by the Cubs in um, uh, 1996 in the 56th round. Wow. Yeah, that's, they don't have that round no more. <laughs> it's really low. They don't even really want you to come to practice. They say, yeah, we drafted you, but you don't really have to show up. If you want to go get a job at the Waffle House or something, you know. I got drafted so low, they, it, I, I got a collect phone call from a professional baseball team. I, had to, I accepted the charges. Wouldn't you wouldn't hear <laughs> You have a collect call from Chicago Cubs. They called you collect. No, I'm joking. They did. No. They call you, when you get drafted. They call you on the phone, tell you all the details, and you're excited with your parents and family and all that. And then you uh, go down to spring training and you get cut and you get depressed and then you start oh, doing right. comedy. Oh, that's <laughs> so I don't need to ask you how you got your start. No, I struck out one too many times. I'm gonna tell some fucking jokes. <laughs> So your first time on stage, was it like, oh yes, I've arrived? Or was it? No. No. Actually, it was actually it was all right. And then the second time on stage, I could hear. I literally heard someone cough in the back because I was recording my set audio, you know, little audio recorder. Yeah. And it was horrible. What? And I considered quitting. No. See what happens when you don't quit. So I want to ask you something because you've been doing comedy for a while. I've yes. seen you performing. You're really funny. Thank you. And um, but you've been in the game for a while. Who are some of your comedy crushes? Like, who do you want to smash? Do, does it count? Are they funny? Um. Because there's some unfunny ones and there's some funny ones. Well, it's who you want to smash. <laughs> do you want them making I like jokes? Middle-aged white women, so probably Lynn Coplitz. Oh, I love Lynn Coplitz. <laughs> She's so funny. Yeah, she is very funny. Very odd too. <laughs> yeah, she has um, a, a whole rape bit that. You never knew that rape could be rapist, funny. Is the rapist black? I don't know who what color he is. So I don't know. Is it a fantasy rape joke or is it just like it's fantasy? It's something about how she would rape him. Like oh was, look, I'm I'm very into dominatrix. She look, she's what five ten. She she's a hot white chick. Who no. are like your influencers? Like who influenced you? Yeah. Um, Chris Rock. Okay. Uh, Richard Pryor, of course. Um, Dave Chappelle. Um, a lot of people. Sam Kennison, uh, Bill Hicks, okay. George Carlin. Uh, George Carlin. Yeah. Who's your all-time favorite comedian? 
You know, I don't know if I really have all times. It's like to make you know, like oranges and what is it called? Oranges and pears. Um, like comparing apples and oranges. I, apples and oranges. I get the fruit. Got fucked the up. wrong fruit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get the fruit fucked up because uh, I don't eat them. No, um, uh, see, I like Pryor. I like uh, Bill Hicks. I mean, all time great. I don't know, man. Okay. I like Bill Cosby too. He started slipping Mickey's into bitches' drinks since Leonard Six. <laughs> or I spy even. He been raping bitches to the eye spot. He, he probably thought he was never gonna get caught. He's 70, got a cloudy eye. He probably thought he was, yeah, sh he's the Teflon fucking dad. Rapist. Oh my God. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm glad you you stay with him, Camille. It's been 80 years, you might as well hang in there. Just don't let him go get you nothing to drink. Well, he already <laughs> you, so. Oh, that's bad, can we say that? <laughs> You've said it. Yeah, you don't. What I realize is you've been naming a lot of people, influencers, people you want to smash, your favorite. I didn't hear Tracy Morgan. I'm telling. Oh, because when I started comedy, Tracy didn't have a special out. <laughs> he was just, you know, he, he wasn't like, you know, those guys when I, they, they had hours to watch. Okay. But Tracy, I saw on Def Jam, and he wasn't exactly Richard Pryor. Okay. With the propeller hat on. And, <laughs> you know, he wasn't How exactly did you that. meet Tracy? Um, in comedy clubs, you know, this is a small circuit, so you see everybody. Dave Chappelle okay. always came, Mike Epps, all those guys. Um, um, you see them right in the comedy clubs, and you just, you know, you kind of gravitate to, you know, yeah. make friends, you know, you talk. That's true, and you're easy to make friends with. Yeah, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> well, I thank you so much for coming here. Thank you for having here. me. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Put them back on. Appreciate oh. it, appreciate it. <laughs> This is Harris Stanton, everyone. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter at Harris. How's that how I go? At Harris Stanton. Okay. Yeah, I thought I, you almost forgot your like your name. No, I just didn't know how it goes, like how you promote it. Cause I I ain't did nothing in a year. I've been I've been fucked up. He's been having post dramatic stress and broken wrists and just shit. Is that plural? Wrists? Well, I, I, he's oh, somebody about to jump out this building. Let's That's watch. the most dramatic turn the, stress Turn the camera happening. around. There's a white person about to get on the ledge. What if it was real? Oh, my God. It actually is somebody out there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Splat. So, catch it. Do you have a site? Uh, no. Okay. A website. No, but I'm getting one build, and you guys will hear about it on my Facebook and All right. my Twitter. So. And that's where you get them. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you for having me. And everyone, check out Comedy Spotlight. Go to Harris Stanton's uh, Facebook page as well as his Twitter. And thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye.